Good afternoon to one and all. In this session, we are going to learn about how to create a student login form using servlets, HTML and JDBC. So we quickly move on to our session. So what are the files required? Servlet file, HTML, JSP and a JDBC file. So servlets and JSP both are related to MVC architecture that is model view and controller architecture. If at all we are using any JSP page instead of HTML then it becomes an MVC architecture. And this program is also an example for servlet chaining that is communication of one servlet to another servlet. So since it is a login form we are going to create a database. So the files required are a HTML file and two servlet files and one Java file and finally the deployment descriptor that is web.xml. Now I am going to create a table which is called registration which consists of two fields name and password. So I quickly navigate to my NetBeans IDE. Yeah this is my NetBeans IDE. First of all I have created a database with a name called KBN. So in the KBN database, I have created a table which is called registration, which consists of two fields, name and password. I quickly open the table. So it consists of two values. I have given the same values. The username is Sachin and password is also Sachin. Now, first we navigate to index.html page. So in index.html page, I am going to pass two values, name and password. And the navigation is done to servlet one page. Here I have used a method called POST. Since it is a login form, the data has to be secured. Hence, we are going to use the POST method. That is whenever the user submits name and password, it will be navigated to servlet1 page. So this is servlet1 page. So what I have done in the servlet1 page means here I have used a do post method and HTTP servlet request and response objects are created. And here I am going to retrieve the values from HTML to servlet page that is username and user pass into the variables n comma p. Here I have used a validation code that is database dot validate which means database is the Java class name in that I have used a method called validate. So the username and password which was provided is verified with the database values. If it is true, then it will be navigated to servlet 2 page. So in servlet, the navigation can be done by using request dispatcher. So by creating an object for request dispatcher, we can navigate from one servlet to another servlet. This type of process is called servlet chaining. So I will open the database.java file. So in the database.java file, since it is a validate, I have used a data type called boolean and defaultly I have set the status to false. Now I connected to my Derby database with username and password and here I have used a prepare statement by selecting the values from the table which I have created. So the values which I have given is used to log in the form. So if at all the status is okay, then it will be navigated to uh, servlet 2 page. If at all the de details provided is wrong, then it is navigated to index.html page only. That is, if the user provided details are true, then it will be navigated to another servlet page. Otherwise, it will stay in index.html only. Likewise, in our Gmail also, if at all we have given password wrong, then the cursor will wait at Gmail page only, that is username password page only. So like that, the request dispatcher class is used. So it is also used as a navigation of one servlet to another servlet. Now here, I will open first servlet 2 page. So in the servlet 2 page, if it is okay, then we can get a message called welcome to home page and the username is also retrieved. That is the username is carried from HTML to servlet and to another servlet also. So I will quickly run the program. Let me check whether it is true or not. So this is servlet 2 page and this is database page. If at all it is wrong, then I have generated an exception to stay in index.html only. That is, sorry, username and password is error. So I will run the code. Yeah, so welcome to KBN College student login details. I will provide the details which I have given in the database. So I will just create login. Yes, I have got welcome to home page Sachin. Now I will again run the code with 
फॉल्स वैल्यूज लेट मी चेक आर ये एम आर ये एम सो सॉरी यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड इज एर इट मस्ट स्टे इन दट पेज ओनली सो दट इज द यूज ऑफ सरोलेट चेनिंग दट इज communication between one servlet to another servlet in this way we can create a login form thank you